Right. And do they have conjugal visits where people can have sex with each other? You're saying no, you're saying yes, Guys, so maybe yeah. you start first. Yeah. Yeah. Um, well, one of the prisons I did, they, or both, there was two prisons I went to, they did, um, but you had to be doing a minimum of three years prison sentence, and you had to be 18 months or halfway through that sentence to be eligible. And, and you had, had to, to be, be married to that person or in a relationship? De facto, or you had to prove a know. relationship for a year before you got locked up. So de facto or... or a, How do you prove that? Phone bills, phone record, like it's a pretty strenuous process you've got to go through. Yeah, really. Immigration, really. Yeah, it yeah. is. Yeah. And, and in women's prisons, not, they're not, not that at all? No, not at the main prison. There is a farm that you can go to. And if, you're in, if you've got a sentence of longer than 10 years and you're in your last two years of your sentence and it's a spouse, then you can have... Or just the with the male else. officers. Mm. Yeah, well, that happens too. That's, that's not technically permitted. No, no, they don't. They Look, they frown upon it, <laughs> but it happens. But, but in terms of legal conjugal visits, men have a better system than women. That's like it's pretty weird, isn't it? Like it's mm. for a progressive state like Victoria that claims to it's be... Very, it's very rare that people everyone. get granted the conjugals because it's very hard to, to get. But say someone's been married for 10 years to someone and they're doing a 10 year sentence, it's, it's pretty easy for them to get it because they can prove the relationship and they've got a long time and it keeps, so keeps them happy, I guess.